Your alarm goes off and the urge to hit that snooze button is overwhelming. It felt like you had 10 minutes of sleep, even though you went to bed on time. You realize that your mouth is drier than the Sahara Desert and you chug away a glass of water like your life depends on it. You drag yourself to the kitchen to get some coffee to fight off the tiredness. The day goes by and the coffee flows and you wonder why you keep feeling tired. After a long day of working, you crash on your couch and the promise you made to yourself of going to the gym is yet postponed to another day. You want to go to bed early, but the caffeine is not allowing you to sleep. So you keep scrolling on your phone till you finally doze off, just to repeat it all again in the morning. Does this sound familiar? You are not alone. Many people have problems with being fatigued and don't know what the cause or the solution is. Today we will give you some insights on tiredness and some tips to boost your energy. Tiredness, also commonly referred to as fatigue, is a state of physical and or mental exhaustion. It is a common experience characterized by a lack of energy, motivation, and heightened feelings of weariness. The sensation can be triggered by a variety of factors, both physical and psychological, and can manifest in numerous ways. There are different types of tiredness that we can divide in three categories. 1. Physical fatigue. Physical tiredness is usually the result of muscle strain or exertion. It's often remedied by resting the body part that's fatigued until recovery is complete. 2. Mental fatigue. This is more about concentration and motivation than physical exertion. Even low-impact activities like attending a meeting or making decisions can lead to mental exhaustion. 3. Chronic fatigue. Persistent long-term tiredness that doesn't go away with rest. It could be a symptom of an underlying issue or medical condition. Being tired is more than just a lack of sleep. Let's dive into the possible factors of reason number one, you are not hydrated. When you look for tips to stop feeling tired, one of the first things to pop up is to stay hydrated and drink at least two liters of water. But drinking water does not mean that you will be hydrated. So what does it mean to be hydrated? It is true that drinking water is necessary, but the amount and quality of the water is also important. Drinking more water than you need is not going to help you feel less thirsty. It can actually create the opposite. Drinking too much water can flush out electrolytes, and electrolytes are essential for hydration. When you sweat or lose fluids, you're not just losing water, but also electrolytes. To calculate the amount of water you should drink is as following. Your weight in LBS times 0.5 is the amount of ounces of water a day, or your weights in kilos times 0.03 is the amount of liters of water per day. When you drink too much water, your kidneys can't excrete the excess water quickly enough. This dilutes the electrolytes in your blood, particularly sodium. Sodium is a key electrolyte that helps regulate water balance in and around cells. When you consume an excessive amount of water, the sodium in your body becomes diluted. This can lead to a condition called hyponatremia, also known as overhydration, which is a low concentration of sodium in the blood. This can lead to nausea, headache, confusion, fatigue, and muscles weakness. But the changes of dehydration is more likely to happen than overhydration. When you are dehydrated, you are too low in electrolytes. Electrolytes are minerals that carry an electric charge when dissolved in water. They are essential for a variety of bodily functions, including fluid balance, nerve signaling, muscle contractions, and acid-base balance. Because they conduct electricity, electrolytes help transmit electrical signals from one cell to another, making them vital for physiological processes throughout the body. If you are lacking electrolytes, you could add electrolyte powder to your water that will help you boost your energy. It is great for when you feel tired or when you sweat a lot after exercise. But electrolyte powders often contain sweetener which can be irritating to your gut, which can lead to diarrhea. So if you have troubles digesting sweetener, you can also get your electrolytes from other sources. Let's break down the electrolytes, why you need them, and how you can take them naturally. Sodium helps regulate water balance and is essential for muscle and nerve function. It can be found in Himalayan sea salt, and you can add a little bit to your water in the morning or after training. Potassium, important for muscle contractions, heart function, and balancing fluids. It can be found in several vegetables such as leafy greens and avocado. Also, bananas, sweet potatoes, and oranges are great sources of potassium. Chloride works closely with sodium to regulate the balance of fluids inside and outside cells and can be found in salt. Calcium, essential for bone health as well as muscle and nerve function. This can be found in dairy products and leafy green vegetables. 
Magnesium, important for nerve transmission, muscle relaxation, and several biochemical reactions. This can be found as nuts, whole grains, leafy green vegetables. Phosphate, helps filter out waste in the kidneys and plays a role in energy production. This can be found in dairy products, meat, and whole grains. So, to stay hydrated, it is important to get enough water and to get in electrolytes that will help you get the energy you need. Reason number two, you are drinking too much caffeine. Who doesn't love the smell of fresh coffee in the morning? That first sip in the morning makes you feel like a human again. You feel the tiredness falling of your shoulders. Or at least, that is what we think. But unfortunately, that is not how it works. Caffeine, a natural stimulant most commonly found in coffee, tea, and energy drinks, exerts its effects primarily through antagonism of adenosine receptors in the brain. To understand how caffeine works, it's helpful to first understand the role of adenosine. Adenosine is a neurotransmitter that plays several roles in the brain, including the regulation of sleep and wakefulness. When adenosine binds to its receptors, neural activity slows down and you start to feel sleepy. Adenosine levels rise over the course of the day, contributing to increased sleep pressure and readiness for sleep. Caffeine is structurally similar to adenosine, allowing it to bind to adenosine receptors. Caffeine itself doesn't wake you up in the sense of providing energy or eliminating the need for sleep. Instead, it works by blocking the action of adenosine. By binding to adenosine receptors without activating them, caffeine prevents adenosine from fulfilling its usual role in promoting sleepiness. This effectively removes the break that adenosine puts on neural activity, allowing other neurotransmitters like dopamine and norepinephrine to exert their stimulating effects more freely. As a result, you feel more alert, focused, and awake, but it doesn't change the fact that your body still needs rest and energy from nutritious food. When the effects of caffeine wear off, the suppressed adenosine comes back into play, often leading to what many people describe as a caffeine crash. This can make you feel even more tired than you were before, especially if you were already sleep deprived. The temporary burst of alertness that caffeine provides is just that, temporary. Once it wears off, any underlying sleep deprivation or fatigue will still be there, and often feels worse because the adenosine that was blocked by the caffeine is now free to bind to its receptors, promoting sleepiness, which will result into consuming more caffeine which can lead to disrupting your natural sleep patterns, leading to a cycle of fatigue and reliance on stimulants to stay awake. Over time, this can contribute to chronic sleep deprivation, which has a number of negative health consequences, including impaired cognitive function, weakened immune system, and increased risk of various chronic diseases, it is recommended to not surpass one cup of coffee a day and not to drink it later than one o'clock. Caffeine has a half-life of about three to five hours, which means it takes that long for just half of the caffeine consumed to be eliminated from your body. Depending on your sensitivity, the remaining caffeine could interfere with your ability to fall asleep or reach the deep stages of sleep. Not only will caffeine affect your sleep, it's also a diuretic, which means it dehydrates you. And we just learned that dehydration leads to being tired. So try to cut down your caffeine intake and don't forget to account for other sources of caffeine you may be consuming like tea, chocolate, soda, or energy drinks when calculating your total daily intake. Reason number three, you are not receiving enough daylight. Working the whole day, not receiving daylight can drain your energy. Exposure to natural daylight can have a significant impact on your energy levels and overall well-being. Regulation of circadian rhythm. Sunlight helps to regulate the body's internal clock, or circadian rhythm, which in turn affects various physiological processes including sleep-wake cycles. A well-regulated circadian rhythm can lead to better sleep quality, which is crucial for feeling energized during the day. Production of serotonin, exposure to daylight stimulates the production of serotonin, a neurotransmitter that helps to improve mood, focus, and calmness. Low levels of serotonin are associated with feelings of depression and fatigue. Vitamin D Synthesis Sunlight triggers the synthesis of vitamin D in the skin, which has multiple roles in the body, including the regulation of calcium and phosphate. A deficiency in vitamin D can lead to fatigue among other symptoms. Improved alertness and cognitive function Exposure to natural light during the day can improve alertness and cognitive function, enhancing your ability to focus and complete tasks. Psychological Benefits Natural settings and daylight are shown to reduce stress levels, which can have an indirect impact on your energy levels. Stress and fatigue often go hand in hand, so reducing stress through daylight exposure can help you feel more energized. If possible, go for a walk in the morning, 
go outside and receive daylight. Even if it is just 10 minutes, it will boost your vitamin D synthesis. If you are working, try to be in a space with windows or go for a walk in your break. Reason number four, you are lacking physical activity. After a long day of work, the last thing on your mind is a workout. The thought alone makes you feel more tired than you already are. But exercising will actually make you feel more energetic. It will help you to be more focused and alert during the day. It will boost your metabolism and it will help you sleep better. Physical activity stimulates the release of endorphins, which are neurotransmitters that act as natural mood lifters. They can help you feel more energetic and alert right after a workout. It increases circulation, improving the flow of oxygen and nutrients to your muscles and other tissues. This can result in a quick energy boost, and thanks to the increased flow of blood to the brain, you will get better concentration and sharper mental focus. So going for a walk is a great way to get some physical activity, but it is recommended to combine this with exercises such as HIIT training or weight training. High intensity interval training is a great way to get physical activity. It is a shorter workout and can be done outside in a gym or in your living room. HIIT training comes in different levels and if you have never done a high intensity workout, it is recommended to start at a lower level and take breaks when you feel like you need it. Just keep in mind that exercising is important, but don't overdo it. Remember, sweating makes you lose electrolytes, which can lead to fatigue. Drink enough water and add an electrolyte powder or a pinch of salt in your water so you won't feel fatigue after your workout. Reason number five, you don't have a regular sleeping pattern. After waking up early for five days in a row, the weekend has finally arrived. Time to get some extra hours of sleep so you will feel refreshed and ready for the new week to come. Your alarm goes off on Monday, and instead of waking up with tons of energy, you feel like a train wreck. Maintaining a consistent sleep schedule is widely recommended by sleep experts for a variety of reasons that are rooted in our biology and lifestyle. Consistency helps regulate your body's internal clock, also known as the circadian rhythm, and can positively impact the quality and efficiency of your sleep. Here's a detailed look at why a consistent sleep schedule can be beneficial. Regulating circadian rhythms. Your body has an internal circadian rhythm that regulates various physiological processes, including sleep-wake cycles. Consistency helps to set this internal clock, making it easier to fall asleep and wake up. The hormones that help regulate sleep, such as melatonin, are released according to this circadian rhythm. A stable sleep schedule helps ensure that sleep hormones are released at the right times. Sleep quality consistency can improve the quality of sleep by allowing for more predictable cycles of REM, rapid eye movement, and deep sleep, which are important for mental and physical recovery. Consistency often leads to a faster onset of sleep because the body recognizes the time to wind down and prepare for sleep. Cognitive and emotional well-being. A regular sleep pattern contributes to better cognitive function, including attention, memory, and problem-solving skills. Poor or inconsistent sleep can lead to mood swings and increase stress. Consistency helps regulate mood and reduce symptoms of anxiety and depression. Physical health inconsistent sleep patterns can compromise the immune system, making you more susceptible to illnesses. Irregular sleep patterns have been linked to metabolic issues, including increased risk of obesity and diabetes. Regular sleep patterns contribute to cardiovascular health and can reduce the risk of heart-related issues like hypertension. Daytime functioning. A consistent sleep schedule helps to reduce daytime sleepiness, making you more alert and productive during waking hours. When your sleep is consistent, you're more likely to wake feeling refreshed and maintain higher energy levels throughout the day. Special considerations. Irregular sleep patterns such as sleeping in on weekends can cause social jet lag, where your social and work commitments are misaligned with your body's natural sleep-wake cycles, leading to poor sleep and increased health risks. While consistency is important, some flexibility is acceptable, especially if it's due to unavoidable commitments or occasional disruptions. Maintaining a consistent sleep schedule helps you tap into your body's natural rhythms, leading to better sleep and overall health. And of course, it is important to get enough sleep. We need about seven to nine hours of sleep every day. It's important to pay attention to your own body to determine how much sleep you personally need. If you consistently feel tired, are irritable, or find it difficult to concentrate during the day, you may need to adjust your sleep schedule. Reason number six, you're not having a healthy diet. You've had a long day, 
and you decide to treat yourself with sugary snacks and a caffeine-laden soda while binge-watching your favorite series. When the clock strikes midnight, you finally decide to go to bed, thinking you'll fall asleep in no time. But instead, you find yourself staring at the ceiling, tossing and turning, unable to shut down your restless mind. A healthy diet can play a significant role in the quality and consistency of your sleep. The foods you eat influence various bodily functions and hormonal systems that, in turn, impact your sleep cycle. Here's a breakdown of why a healthy diet is important for maintaining a good sleep schedule. Direct impact on hormones and neurotransmitters. Some foods like cherries, grapes, and tomatoes contain melatonin, the hormone that helps regulate sleep. Foods rich in the amino acid tryptophan, such as turkey and dairy, can aid in the production of melatonin and serotonin, a neurotransmitter that has mood-stabilizing effects. A balanced diet rich in complex carbohydrates and protein can help in the production of serotonin, which later converts into melatonin, blood sugar, and insulin sensitivity. A balanced diet that is low in refined sugars can help maintain stable blood sugar levels, which is important for good sleep. Fluctuating blood sugar can lead to wakefulness at night. A diet rich in whole, unprocessed foods can improve insulin sensitivity, which is linked to better sleep quality. Weight management. Excessive weight, especially around the neck, can increase the risk of sleep apnea, a condition that interrupts breathing during sleep, leading to poor sleep quality. Obesity often leads to increased levels of systemic inflammation, which has been associated with sleep disturbances. Gastrointestinal health overeating or eating spicy, fatty, or acidic foods close to bedtime can lead to indigestion or heartburn, affecting sleep quality. Eating large meals right before bedtime can also cause discomfort due to bloating and fullness. Caffeine and alcohol. Consuming caffeine and alcohol, especially close to bedtime, can interfere with the sleep cycle. While alcohol may make you drowsy, it often disrupts sleep during the second half of the night. Do you ever feel tired after a heavy meal? especially after junk food? Foods high in fats and carbohydrates often require more energy to digest. Your body directs more blood flow to the digestive system, which may result in less oxygen and nutrients being directed to other parts of the body. This can lead to feelings of fatigue. Another factor of carbohydrate-rich foods is that it often causes a rapid increase in blood sugar levels, triggering an insulin response to bring the sugar into cells. This process can lead to a sudden drop in blood sugar levels, making you feel tired. So if you're tossing and turning at night, it's worth taking a close look at your diet. A few simple adjustments might make a world of difference in the quality of your sleep. When you fuel your body with the right nutrients, you're also setting yourself up for nights of more restful, regenerative sleep. Reason number seven, you are scrolling on your phone before bed, you finally made it to bed, you lay down and grab your phone to quickly check what is happening on social media. And before you know it, you lost hours of sleep resulting to waking up tired, needing more coffee, not feeling like exercising, eating unhealthy and going to bed late again. An endless loop of tiredness that you can't seem to escape. Not only will you lose hours of sleep, but using your phone before bed can also have several negative impacts on the quality of your sleep. Blue light exposure. The blue light emitted by phone screens can interfere with the production of the sleep hormone melatonin, making it harder to fall asleep. Exposure to blue light can also disrupt your internal body clock, circadian rhythm, which can confuse your body's understanding of day and night. Mental stimulation. Engaging with social media, reading news, or playing games can stimulate your mind, making it difficult to wind down and fall asleep. Reading emails or encountering stressful or emotional content can trigger a stress response, releasing cortisol, a hormone that further impedes sleep. Sleep position and quality holding a phone and scrolling can result in a poor sleeping position, leading to potential discomfort and long-term issues like back or neck pain. Notifications, messages, or calls can interrupt your sleep if you keep your phone within arm's reach, particularly if your phone is not set to do not disturb mode. Reduced sleep time. The addictive nature of many phone apps can make it easy to lose track of time, cutting into the amount of sleep you get. It's generally recommended to minimize exposure to blue light-emitting devices like smartphones, tablets, and computer screens at least an hour before bedtime. So if you're struggling with sleep quality, it's advisable to limit phone use at least an hour before bedtime and consider other forms of relaxation like reading a book, listening to calming music, or practicing meditation to help your body prepare for a restful night's sleep. 
We hope this video has helped you understand that feeling tired is deeper than just lack of sleep. It can be due to different factors like poor diet, dehydration, or too much caffeine. By making some adjustments into your daily routine, you can improve your sleep. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our informative and animated videos. If you want to learn more about getting more energy, staying hydrated and improve your sleep, make sure you watch our video about magnesium glycinate. Thank you for watching and we can't wait to share more with you in the future.